Time to go back to the track. Men's 400 metres T51 final. This promises to be something decent as well. Japan's Satoshi Inoue goes in one Sydney record in his heat of 128.34. Alves Davidi, bronze in the 100 in 2013 and also in the 200. Bronze in 2014 in the Europeans, he'll go from lane two. Next to him, it's Mexico. Edgar Cesarado, Navarro Sanchez. 120.34 in the heat for him. Three-time Paralympian John McCarthy will go in lane four. Lifetime best of 124.60 for him. Tony Pispanen, gold in the Europeans, silver here already over 100. He was an able-bodied karate competitor until an accident at competition in 1993 left him disabled when he injured his spinal cord. He will go in lane five. Peter Hennen of Belgium, silver in 2014 of the Euros, gold here over 100 already. What a race that was. He'll be looking to do a double now, winning the 400. He'll go in six. In lane seven, Mohamed Bedahal of Algeria. Area record in the heat, 123-24. And Helda Mestre of Portugal rounds up the field going in lane eight. So the world record is held by Navarro Sanchez, set back in 2004 in Atlanta. Hennen set a new championship record here in qualification, 122.70. That coming yesterday. So we are just about ready to go. And away they go in the men's 400 metres T51 category. Inoue of Japan in one, Davidi in two, Navarro Sanchez, the world record holder in three, McCarthy of Ireland in four, Vispanen in five, Hennen in six, Berahal in seven, and Mestra is in lane eight. And out in the far side there, it is the man who is in lane six, Peter Hennen of Belgium, who's already claimed gold over 100 metres in these championships. He won silver at the Europeans last year. He's got out very quickly indeed, but there is a race on coming from the inside, especially in lane three, from the man who holds the world record, Navarro Sanchez. He is really putting in an effort. He's up to third position at the moment, but with about 120 metres to go, it is Peter Hennen of Belgium who holds the lead. He's about to come round, but he's starting to struggle somewhat with around 110 metres left. His arms are really working very hard. There's a yellow flag that has gone up in the far lane as well, so we'll just wait to see what happens there. But it is Hennen who leads at the moment, coming through in lane three, Navarro Sanchez. 123.34, he's in his heat, he holds the world record. He's going to have to come home very quickly indeed, but it is Peter Hennen of Belgium who is going to take the win as he comes down to the line. Hennen there, let's look at the time as he goes across. 122.90, he's just outside his own championship record. Coming through there in second place, Navarro Sanchez of Mexico. And in third, it is Algeria, Mohamed Berahal, who claims the bronze medal there. But it was Peter Hennen who got out extremely quickly. He set the championship record yesterday. 122.66, he has come across the line in there for Peter Hennen. It's been rounded down, so he does break that championship record. At one point there, it looked like he missed out, but he has broken his own championship record. 122.66 for the man from Belgium, and he's done the double over 100 and 400 there. Well, there is Navarro Sanchez, who picked up the silver medal from Mexico. Didn't have enough in the tank. It looked at one point as if that man, Peter Hennen of Belgium, was struggling. But he went again near the end and he came home with the win. They all get away. There is Hennen. Gets away extremely quickly. He was leading by the 100 metre mark. 
from there, he pushed and he pushed. And then he got around that stage into the home straight. He was struggling there at one point with around 80 to go, but he got the second wind. He went again and he takes the gold medal. Just getting ahead of his championship record he set yesterday. It was routed down and he goes through in 122.66. That point there was where it looked as if he might be in a bit of trouble. You can see in the background, here they come. On the inside, it's Navarro Sanchez. On the outside, it was Berahal, but there was a yellow flag around the 100 meter mark. So there is a protest that has been put in. It's not official at this point. When it is official, we will let you know. As it stands at the moment, Hennon was or is in first place. Navarro Sanchez of Mexico in second. But Algeria have been disqualified. Mohamed Berahal coming across in third place has been disqualified along with Portugal's Helda Mestra. Well, that is interesting. We'll get you complete confirmation of that in a moment or two's time. But two disqualifications from the men's 400 metres T51. But that man there is the winner. He hasn't been protested against. Peter Hennon with gold over 100 and 400 metres now. Well, here comes the official results. Peter Hennon with a championship record of 122.66. Navarro Sanchez takes second, 124.46. But the man who was in third, Mohamed Berahal, has been disqualified along with Helder Mestra of Portugal. So Tony Bispanen is now promoted into third place. He took silver over 100 metres. He's now got a bronze to go with it in the 400 metres. Finland in third.